What's up guys, it's Pete from PeteIsaac.com and I'm here with a, hey look, that is my shiny little head. And the question today was, Pete, tell me some things we don't know about you. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to tell you 10 things that you probably never knew about me. And we're going to start with number one. I bet a lot of you guys didn't know that I had an eating disorder. If you're new to the channel, then you definitely didn't think that, definitely didn't know that. And there's a lot of people in this world that never knew that I was a bulimic, that I had a lot of issues with cutting weight. Um, they just thought that I did it the right way, you know. And that was a huge lie that I've lived. And now I am living and teaching other people not to do that. Number two, did you know I like feet? Psych, just kidding. There's something about feet that doesn't make me feel comfortable inside my head, and I don't even like my own feet. To be honest with you, sometimes I feel like I could have wooden planks where I could just walk around like sticks and I'd feel 10 times better because I just don't like feet that much. But there are times that sometimes, but there's something about it that I do like to look at feet. But then I immediately get disturbed. Number three, I have a twin brother. No, I don't. I have a brother that everyone thinks that is my twin and or we are the same and or they combine us together. I have a brother named Jay and he's five years younger than I am. And he's not, we're not a combination. When we meet people in the street, some people have no idea that I'm Pete or he's Jay and they'll call him Pete and they'll call me Jay and they'll talk about the barber shop to me because he's a barber and other things, but they will tell me, they will tell me that I am Jay. And just so you guys know, if you didn't know that, he's not my twin brother, he's just my younger brother, and we kind of look the same. And I want to say he's a handsome devil, so I appreciate all the wonderful compliments I get from you guys. Number four, I used to be a fat kid. Guys, in elementary school, middle school, and then the beginning of high school, I got up to 235 pounds trying to gain weight to play football. I was five foot nothing, and I tried to stand up and be a lineman. I was a center. Do you know how low those quarterbacks had to get to to get that ball when I was snapping it? Very low. Not only that, I thought I had to gain weight, so I ended up doing that and putting myself into a really bad situation because I also loved wrestling, which led me to number one because I wanted to get lighter and I wanted to cut weight, and I found an easy way to do it, and that was through my eating disorders. And that's not something that I am proud of, but it's something that I've experienced. So. If you guys didn't know that, I was also a fat kid. Number five. Number five. I like whiskey. I don't know if you guys know that, but some people think just because I am, I work out all the time and I, um, I'm, I live the healthy lifestyle, I do believe in moderation. I do believe in having fun. I like whiskey. I like bourbons. I used to like scotch because I was Filipino, but uh, I transitioned to bourbon just I think like everyone else is starting to these days. But I've been drinking it for a while. Um, do I drink it all the time? No. Do I occasionally drink it? Yeah. Do I have fun when I drink it? Of course I do. Do I feel bad when I drink too much? Yes, I do. And that's why I like to keep it in moderation because I got a lot of shit to do. But just so you know, if you ever want to give me a birthday present, a nice bottle of bourbon is always something nice. Number five, I've been roofied before. I don't know if you know this story, guys, but I one time was in the city, and here's the, here's the story. I was in the city, and I wanted to play a game called Let's See How Far I Can Make It With 20 Bucks. So I ended up going into the city, and I had $20 with me. Met a couple friends throughout the way. I talked to people to try to get them to buy me drinks, and it works. You know, being social and being able to hang out with people, you get to, uh, they, they were very nice and gratuitous. And like, hey, let me buy you a drink. All right, it's cool. Met up with them. I spent a dollar on a slice of pizza down, uh, down the street from the bar I was at, and then I met up with other friends, and they bought me drinks. And it was only like really a couple drinks spread throughout the day. And then I finally met up with my brother-in-law. And when I was with my brother-in-law, we just had a couple of drinks and then blackout city. Now I wake up in a hotel, not, you know, like when you wake up out of a fuzz and you see something, well, I saw something and it was two bouncers kicking me in the stomach, telling me that I don't belong here. Where was I? On the floor of a hotel lobby. I don't know how I got there. I don't know what happened. And then boom, shut off again. I have no recollection. And then I wake up inside a hotel room with my knees bleeding and my toes bleeding still whatever was happening to me, I was still very woozy. Woke up, finally contacted my fiance at the time. I'm sure she was scared shit, okay? She was having her bachelorette party and it looks like I had my bachelor party because two days later, I got calls from my credit card company telling me about uh, trying to dispute a bunch of charges that were made onto my card. Now, as I looked up the, 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 the receipts, I found out I went to a strip club and the strip club the strip club charged me, guess how much? $4,000. Well, 
what the fuck did I do, or did we do, at that time, to run $4,000 onto a credit card? You want to talk about shitting your pants and having anxiety? Welcome to Anxiety Nation, because that is something that I don't remember one thing about, and it drives me crazy if I ever do think about it, because it's very scary. Because I did have drinks, but I didn't get to that point. It's weird to say because there's a lot of rumors that we hear about at these strip clubs. They like to do that to people that are intoxicated, throw something in their drink, and then they spend their money. They sign. They, they had my, my license. They had everything. It wasn't. I was there. You know? But to be honest with you, I have no idea what the fuck happened. Like, did I make it rain like little Wayne? Did I fight someone outside on Broadway? I don't know. Number six. I like Nerf guns. Something about Nerf guns that just make me happy. It's, I think it's the, the, the act of when you're a kid, you really didn't get the toys that you wanted, but people would get you toys that you didn't want. And I always like guns and Nerf guns and artillery, which is why if you look inside my office or my room of fun, I have machetes and I have knives and I have rubber band guns. I don't have real guns because I'm not that cool and I don't want that laying around the house. I have a Nerf gun wall and I have something about Nerf guns. It just makes me smile. I like to collect them. Do I use them? During holidays when people are at my house, I'll use them. So if you guys are a Nerf gun fan, hey, one day we should have Nerf gun war battle. That would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Number seven, I have a small penis. I'm Asian. What do you want me to do? Number eight, my right armpit seems to start smelling more than my left armpit now. It's funny because as a kid I used to make fun of this referee who really smelt like a ham salami and cheese sandwich, almost like an Italian sub that sat in the heat inside your car during a 95 degree day, and now this one right armpit likes to smell that way. Maybe not like ham salami and cheese, but something like a French guy walking through New York City here on vacation for three months in August. And how could it be three months if it's just August? But that's what this right arm smells like. So if I'm going to headlock you, be careful. Depends on the type of clothing we wear. Sometimes if we wear that tri-blend, it starts to come out a little bit more. And they say it's pheromones. And ladies, step back. Because if the pheromones are high, you might get attracted to me. I'm married, people. Don't fuck with that. Ooh, this is a good one. Number nine. I bet you never thought about this one. I was a virgin until I was 28 years old. Did you know that? And no, it's not a lie. A lot of people used to think that I probably had sex a lot, but I didn't. You know why? I was so insecure myself. I was someone that didn't like himself in his own skin that I put women on a pedestal and I made them become, not that I didn't put them on a pedestal. I just didn't feel confident enough to ever approach a girl to, to get into a serious relationship. And even though you want to, you just didn't believe in yourself that much. So number 10. I don't know. I don't know. Number 10. I was a stand-up comic. A lot of you guys probably didn't know that, but I did stand-up comedy for about six years. Was I good? Eh, I was okay. I just didn't really like the lifestyle of, of late nights. Obviously, I'm an er early morning person. If you see my workouts on my post, I am working out very early in the morning because that's where I'm at my best. At nighttime, it's very hard, and I have to use a lot of caffeine and alcohol uh, in order to get up on stage, not to get up on stage, in order to last throughout the night. And uh, that nighttime lifestyle wasn't for me. I mean, if there was daytime stand-up comics, like five in the morning, I guess you could say that's what I'm doing right now. So I use whatever I learned during stand-up comedy uh, to make my videos and to coach people and make them laugh. I've been on uh, Carolines of Broadway, Gotham Comedy Club, I've traveled up and down the East Coast, doing tours at colleges and clubs. Um, and it's just cool life, but it just wasn't for me. But I can't say I regret it. It's something I've learned to deal with. It's something I've learned uh, and I use every day in my life forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed that um, random list of things you didn't know about Pete. Um, and I want to thank you for that question. It was kind of fun to do because it made me think back to a lot of the stuff that maybe people do and don't. And if I find out anymore, I'll plug it up. What you guys could do is definitely comment down below and tell me things that I might not know about you. What else uh, inside your life are you trying to hide? Coming out is the best thing ever. Um, I'm not gay. I mean, people might think I am. But I'm not. And uh, I'm not meaning coming out by saying that. This is rambling. If you guys want to post up anything you'd like to... Tell me, 
do so in the comment section. And like always, subscribe, like up, and comment up. I'll see you guys later. This is Pete from PeteIsaac.com. This is Ask Pete. Webisode. Webisode. It's a webisode. 14. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next week.